When you look back at life, it seems impossible not to take for granted the times we spend with our friends, family and loved ones. It's been about three months since the start of social distancing and since then, much has changed. We can now experience life in our homes in new ways and have more spare time than ever before. And reveal many new hobbies for the very first time. But that is not all. The planet has changed too. Never have our mental states been as fragile and as precious as they are today. In this crucial time in our living world, we explore our greatest treasures of quarantine at home. This is Planet Quarantine. School. A place for providing routine, recreational activities, and for most, a social life. Without it, life would not be normal. We spend a week with a fellow creature as they struggle to carry on with life in a world that is ever changing. May. It's the ninth week of self quarantine since the recent outbreak of coronavirus that has affected the whole world and there has been little to no outside social interaction for over a week. A student, alone in its natural habitat, in the middle of the night, he scavenges for food in what seems like permanent isolation, but there is little to eat. Like every college student, he waits. The sun rises again, making its daily appearance on our horizon. And something else makes an appearance. A freshman college student has been hiding in his room for almost a whole month. By the time the freshman wakes up, it is lunchtime. And its mother uses food to coax him into coming out of hiding, after surviving off of hot pockets and ramen. The freshman takes it a step further and answers to his mother's call from the garage, not only motivated by his longing for food and snacks, but his fear of his mother's wrath, should he not listen to his orders. He foolishly attempts to carry all the groceries in one trip, and quickly comes to realize there is too much for him to carry. He walks back to the garage for a second trip, in defeat. After waiting over a week, he can finally play his video games. The freshman quickly becomes enraged as griefers and trolls plague his servers, causing him to create enough noise to stir up his entire household. The power goes out. Left in silence, the freshman takes a few seconds to process what had just happened. He then momentarily occupies himself and hopes the power will come on faster. But nothing happens. On hot Hawaii days like these, it can reach up to 23 degrees Celsius in households like this, with very little windows and no screens. He avoids opening any doors for the fear of letting mosquitoes and flies in the house, and so he waits impatiently in the heat for a miracle to happen. Within half an hour, the power is restored, yet his desire to play video games has gone away. Here is where the freshman studies. Although the coronavirus has kept him and the rest of the world's students away from school, their work follows them home, for in the age of technology, anything can be achieved from anywhere, provided a good internet connection. Although he has all the resources he needs at his fingertips, 
literally feet away from his bed. A student is a student, and with 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and nothing better to do than to sit in bed and look at memes, miraculously, he still finds a way to procrastinate. The coronavirus has forced us into self-quarantine, with what seems like no end, but we find ways to stay in touch with the world. Not only does talking with his friends give him hope, but it gives them hope as well, that one day they will be able to reunite again in person, and that a virus isn't strong enough to break the connections and bonds between us all. This pandemic has taught us that we must work together as a 7 billion person team to flatten the curve and that the system works and that grocery stores, healthcare workers, first responders, delivery personnel, and the list goes on, will continue to put their lives on the line in order for life to carry on. We also learned other things, like covering up your nasty mouth when coughing or sneezing. Don't be disgusting. But most importantly, we learned to value every moment in life like it's our last for we have taken for granted every second of our lives before this and have only come to appreciate the things we do and the people we love when we are deprived of them. So when this virus passes over, which eventually will happen if we all do our part, live life to its fullest. But until then, how will you make the most of your quarantine?